Let's do the math here. One, two, four, five. So this is 12. 12 I guess 60. to smallest equals fastest. All right, we're gonna let me pull out the year ratio calculator for you to show you. All right, what is this gear ratio right now? Um, 60 T gear. Here. Six, this is a powered one, so this is gonna have the power, right? 60 to 12. 60 to 12, what is that? Um, that's five to one. Five to one, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stack a 60 to gear that is connected to the same axle as this, so the output for this is gonna be five, five to one, right? Yeah. So if I stack this on top, what speed is this gear moving at? This big 60 tooth one? It should be moving at five to one. Five to one, right? All right. Now I add this 12 tooth gear to here, to this one, right? And this yeah. is where your your flywheel is going to be attached to, right? Yeah. What's what's the final speed of this gear and of this entire five flywheel? To so this is ten five, to one. Ten to one. Would it be that? Because it's multiplicated. It should be. I'm gonna think. Five to one, twenty-five. Twenty-five to one. So we're moving this. This thing is just flying, basically. That's what we want, right? Yeah. So that's why we're gearing. This is like compound gear, basically. You're gonna see this in a lot of like things like transmissions and stuff, like the cars. So this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna stack it and stuff. And sometimes it gets complicated where let's say you don't want five to one anymore. You, it there's like fun stuff where it changes gears. It shifts, which uh, we're gonna teach you eventually. It's called, uh, it's like a shifting gear box. Okay, but yeah. for now, I need you to do this, all right? Just put that together? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, but then I need you to do this, is this very specific way to do this, okay? So, uh, I will find you the pieces. You need the high bearing, the high strength bearing blocks for some of them, okay? So the, I'll tell you right now, the motor goes here, right? Motor goes here, okay? Mm -hmm. Extract axle goes here. This is the, you need the spacing for the gear. Um, there's a special, there is a special, hold on, I think it's on here, so about, let me pull it. I'll show you, I don't think they're gonna pull it off of this one but we will probably, because we have, and. I know it's somewhere, I'll help you find it. But there's a difference between two of the things we, two different bearing blocks we have, okay? So you know how we have the regular plastic bearings, right? The bearing blocks that just have nothing? Yeah. You see, what's the difference between this one? You yeah. see what's inside this high bearing? High strength bearing? Ring. The ring, you know what this is called? All right, this one right here. Uh, these are called bearings, like they're actual oh. bearings, like yeah. ball bearings. So it's it's a bunch of balls inside of this housing, this metal housing, with a little lubrication, and it it creates less friction, right? So we want what piece do we want to have the least friction out of everything that's spinning? We want that to have the least friction, right? Because we want that thing flying. Okay. Yes. So I need you to find two of these, and these go on the on this end right here okay both sides on both sides okay but this is how you're going to stack it okay because we, we need this to be strong too right because this is one one we're holding this is our shooter on top of that it needs to it's going to move a little right because we're having it angled up we're going to move it up and down right okay so like i said here to here here to here here and then tiny gear here that is lined up with this one, right? Okay, that all gets sandwiched in between in between here. Okay. And then yeah. Okay, and then this, and then this goes in the middle. Uh oh, oopsies, wrong way. This goes in the middle here like this and you're gonna basically mirror this on the other side and this is gonna be in the middle with no gears in between does that make sense because mm. then we want 
We want nothing, because if I have this, if I have this here, right, it's gonna hit the axle hitting here. Yeah. So what we need is we need right spacing, so that way we have something holding the axle in place on this side, right? Yeah, also ideally would it be like this is more pushed in here so it actually reaches through? Yeah, absolutely. But right now that's just what I found. Okay. Uh, there's a enough high strength axle. <coughs> just find out what length you need and mark it through. Okay. Okay. This I'll tell you right now. This one, this here and axle here need to be the exact, it to exact uh length. Basically. It's really gonna work because it has the uh... yeah the burrs. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It, it shouldn't cause a problem. If you want to, you can file it. That that actually you probably should file. Wait, where is file? Uh, I don't know. All right, I'll find one for you. But yeah, got it. Yes. Okay, can you do that? Uh, finish one side and then bring it to me. I'll double check and get everything correct. Um, and yeah, I think you need a find the. I think you need to find the. What's it called? The high strength. Wow. I will help you find that but for now. Do like, you feel comfortable cutting on the cutting high strength axles to the right length? Uh, on the, the chop saw, or do you want to do it? Uh, okay, can you mark it off the right length you need? Yes. Figure out the length. Oh, one more thing. Last thing. You also, something I haven't figured out that you will have to do for me, because I haven't gotten that far, is figure out how to sandwich you know how it says sandwich all these together? Yeah. You know how uh, we figure it out with the drive base? How we have to do that thing? Figure it, help me figure out a way to connect all the, the pieces together. All four of them. Without, yeah. Figure out how to connect all these four together. With all the gear, spacing and stuff. Okay. Okay. Keep that in We might do the same thing over there that we did there. Yeah. But I, I still need all these four pieces connected to it somehow without without interfering with this. So it's most likely going to be in this first half away from the wheel. It can't interfere with that though. Okay? Okay. Okay. I believe in you. Oh, oh and then the top God. one has another one. Oh, look at that. Are you believing it? On both sides. Wow. Amazing how parts work, huh? I did it. How, why are you <laughs> acting like this? I didn't know. <laughs> it's like a baby like drops his milk on the floor, and you're like, ha ha. Yeah, basically. You should have done better. <laughs> See, if it if it was complicated, I'd be like, I'd be like, oh no, this is how you do it. You know how I'm just playing gear ratios to you? Okay, like, well I didn't know, man. But there's like some common sense things because you've done bearing blocks before. I, I don't, was like, man, huh. I'm just like, Come on. I'm not, you're better than that. I'm not in it right now, aka, I'm not ever in it. I don't even know what that means. If there was, look, if there was ever a day where I was completely in it, we'd, like, I'd finish the robot, like, one day. What do you mean by in it? In the zone? All right, we're gonna like, do something. No distractions. Give me lock nuts. Jane, you're having no distractions today, with the exception of me with the phone, but... Give me, give me lock nuts, and I need your And the occasional assistance. passing emergency ambulance or something like that. We need your assistance. Wait, okay, fine. Okay. Um, I need you... When I press this down, I need you to screw in, or like, quickly screw in that. Just a little bit. Like, quick. Can you... Can, I just need to catch a little. Is it in? Maybe. Maybe? Nope. No. Okay. What if I... Oh! I'm done. Wait, can I... No, I'm not done. It doesn't fit that thing. Oh! I am done. I can do it by myself. Something you can do whenever you need to do this. Use a clamp 
So you see my issue right now? You push it down. Yeah, yeah. but do, do you know how it only had one on one side? Yeah. Why do you think I'm adding the second one? Uh, more stability. It's just because when it's spinning, it has to spin very evenly or else it's going to start to wobble. Yeah, things right. are wrong. So the reason why I'm doing this, the main reason I'm doing this is so I don't get those wobbles. Usually, there's flywheel weights which help it keep its... Have you taken physics already? No. What level of physics have you taken? I don't exactly You don't know, know what the word momentum or inertia is? No, I know what momentum is. Okay. What's momentum, like, Jaden? Okay, like, if you're like moving, uh -huh. you can immediately start. It's okay. If a car is moving, uh -huh. it's, the, it's the Isaac Newton thing or whatever. His name was Albert Einstein. <laughs> no, Albert. Isaac Newton was correct. I forgot. It was it's the guy who, One of the laws of what? Like, you can't stop it immediately. Whatever is in motion will stay, it's, will stay in motion. Yes, an object in motion stays in motion. An object at rest stays at rest. That's inertia for slow look, motion. Look, it's like, yeah. if I'm moving something really fast, I can't stop it immediately. Look, I have to... No, and it means if you let it go, it'll go right into my eye. See, look, like that. Okay, yes. That is motion, but that's also gravity. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure that Bernard had something, he, some ways he was going with that when he talked about momentum. By the way, do you know what momentum is? That's different than inertia. That's different than inertia. You like gain momentum like, you no, nope. momentum is mass times velocity. So the heavier something is, the more momentum it has. The faster it's going, the more momentum it has. And the, if something goes super fast, it doesn't have to be particularly heavy to cause damage. Like a blade of grass in the middle of a tornado can go through a wall. Okay, man. Because it has this the moment. Okay, nerd. Thank you. This is your flywheel. Got it. I think you just need one. Like that. By saying, okay, nerd, it's like, it's funny yeah, because I'm also a nerd. Can you make two okay. more of these? Oh. As backup. Later, not now, but I'm just saying, before states, make two more of these as backups. Just in case something snaps and breaks. Because I feel like this is something that might snap and break because it's just going to go at. I think I, I looked at the calculator, it's moving. Supposedly at 52 feet per second, so that should be fun. Things will probably rip apart. So, so, so Bernard, what is that thing going to do ultimately? This is just your flywheel. This is your flywheel that's gonna, it's gonna be spinning at speed. Mm -hmm. And then what it'll do? You just put the tri ball on top and it just flies. Oh, okay. So basically, the balls and those are the green balls that have to be shot over it. Yeah. As soon as they touch that thing, we'll just go fly. Zing. Go find a. Hey, when you edit this together, go find a video of a flywheel <clears throat> and put it in the edit so people know what it is. I haven't tested it. Maybe, maybe we'll have to like get that. No, you don't, but like, like you could make videos from last year. No, like, also, I don't think we have Jayden, flywheels. I just want to point out, like, I know we, we're not we, we're working on it now, but there's a chance we probably have, there's a small chance we might have to actually redo this to gear it down because it might be too fast. Because I'm afraid right now it might burn out the motors, but I feel like also we need this to There's a small chance. There's a small chance we go through like motors like every, like every other. Yeah. Jeez, Bernard. Chance. There's a small chance. <laughs> you're you're literally creating a robot that small will kill chance. itself every time you guys compete. I, I, I think it should last through calls and then we do a motor swap during you do a motor swap during Olympics. Why why will the motor burn itself out by the way? It's just going way too fast. The motor's going well. well hold on, the motor is only going at a certain speed, no, but, but you're amplifying it with the, the gears. Yeah, but the thing is you're gonna be you're amplifying it with the gears, but then there's also uh, you're going to be keeping it on for like a lot of the match. And on top of that, there's um, like resistance from the gears too, that from this too. So it's just going to slot. And then I, I've had motors short out on flywheels before. Going to get on, really, on really these, hot. On these, on like big sim motors, those I've seen like completely just fry. I've seen one explode. 
I've had one catch on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're, we're, we're sending my son to a robotics competition where the robot could explode? I mean, like, it, it would disable it. It would disable it. Their safety. Yeah. For my <laughs> stuff that exploded, that was like the BattleBots, big boy robots. Those just weren't. Like, I want to build BattleBots. I could build like BattleBots. Like BattleBot. Yeah, where's the BattleBot competition? I that, that's that's where I want to go. They're in Vegas now if you want to go ever to watch. They have, they film in the summertime. And no, I mean, I want to compete. I mean, you I can't compete here in Los Angeles? I, I could build something Yeah, dangerous. I want us to... Are they really? Yeah. They have what if I just go to the local sponsors. dumpster and I go get metal? I yeah. find it just has sponsors and the creators still pull out from their own pockets and they still end up net blocked. It's just like... Oh. Okay, like, sorry, Jay. Did we, we don't like have enough money. Who could, like, build those things in his garage? There's mini battle bots, though. The, the 3D printed ones. And no, no, I know this guy, he like, his name is like, I did a thing, and he like, built like a flamethrower out of like a heater. Oh, I know, I know him, and I know, uh, you know Michael Reeves? Oh yeah. He's from Hawaii, I know him too, he's cool. Bro, he like, has. the I did a thing guy, he could make a battle bot in his garage. Yeah. Has it, he's already made like a bait blade that like chopped yeah, through okay. walls. Okay, well, this has kind of gone a little off the rails. I just wanted to show people you building your robot, and now we're talking about people on YouTube and exploding battle bots and whatever else. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll end the video here. Yeah, bye. Bye. That's better. I like a smile. Bye. 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 It's done? Yeah. Oh, I might have to change it. Here, I'll take it. Gear ratio make gear spin more. Gear ratio make gear spin more. Why do you talk like caveman? I'm not wrong though, aren't I? I, I, I don't think you're wrong, no. That's uh that's see this awesome. gear this this is five to one ratio, mm -hmm. but then this is on the same thing as the one that's getting from here. So this spins faster when this spins only a little bit, but then um, there's another ratio that goes to this one. But you're covering up your finger. So then it multiplies from 5 to 1 to 25 to 1. So when we spin, or well, when I spin, this gear just a little bit, the gear all the way on the end spins a lot. Let me see. very cool and then you're gonna put the uh, the flywheel on that yeah all righty pretty fly for a robotics guy